Hello everybody, this is Zach with Top Deck Nation. Today we are uh, looking at a, uh, a deck that's become pretty popular lately, uh, in the standard format at least. Uh, and that's going to be Me and Shao Halucha. Um, you know, just from the sound of it, you know, how in the world is this a competitive deck? I mean, you know, this Me and Shao, it's only got a meager 90 HP, it's only doing 40 damage, and, uh, yeah, you know, look at the deck here, you know, what's, you know, what's missing, you know, we're missing, like, uh, you know, our staples, like our draw support, like Shaman EX, our, our big, uh, high HP EX attackers that are doing a lot more damage, um, you know, how is this good? Um, but if you've looked on, uh, you know, various forums recently, various websites, uh, Facebook groups, such as, you know, Verbank City Gym, um, you know, there's been a bit of an uprise in this lately of this Halucha Mianxiao deck. So, you know, today I'm just going to walk you through it and see how the deck works. And then we're going to just play a game of PTCGO online just to show, uh, you know, how competitive the deck really is. So, uh, you know, the first thing uh, we're just kind of looking at is Mianxiao itself because a lot of players are kind of unfamiliar with it. So, it's a stage one. It's got 90 HP. Um... For one energy, one fighting energy, it's using the the attack arrow turn, and you're doing 40, and then you return uh, Me and Shao and all the cards attached to it uh, to your hand. So um, at first glance, it doesn't seem all that great. I mean, it's kind of like a watered down Dawn fan from Plasma Storm, if you will. You know, it's doing a little bit of damage and going back to your hand. Um, but why is it so good? Um, well, first of all, you know, it is a fighting type, so it's going to have some synergy with the supporter Karina. Uh, Karina is going to let you search your deck for a fighting Pokemon and an item. So, uh, you know, a lot of types uh, just have to kind of rely on, you know, your Sycamores, your Birch's Observations to draw into your cards. But fighting types were fortunate enough to get their own supporter card. So, uh, great synergy, you know, and especially in a format that doesn't have in or Colrest any longer. Um, you know, this is a great supporter, and we can max that out at four cards. But um, some other things that make me and Shao good, you know, it's 90 HP, which means that it's going to be level ball searchable. I don't have to discard any cards. So in other words, you know, it's a free search every turn to search out a Pokemon I need. And that plays a lot of synergy because uh, we have Halucha here, and it only has a meager 70 HP, but that's going to be just enough for level ball to work with it. So that's why we can use level ball with this deck. But let's talk about the overall strategy of the deck here. So like I said, me and Shao has arrow turn, doing 40 damage, going back to your hand. 40 damage is not a lot, but thankfully fighting Pokemon have a lot of modifiers. Um, you know, when you think of some Pokemon types that have gotten support, you know, for example, Metal Pokemon, they got Bronzong with that Metal Link's ability, they've got uh, Still Shelter to prevent status conditions. Well, Fighting Pokemon, they have a few uh, tricks up their sleeve as well. We have Fighting Stadium, which says that the attacks of Fighting Pokemon in play do 20 more damage to the defending Pokemon EX. So if your opponent's active as an EX, you're, you're going to already be doing 20 more damage. So that's, that's bumping up arrow turn from 40 to 60. So let's go ahead and bump it up even more. We have Strong Energy. Uh, it can only be attached to a Fighting Pokemon, but it's doing 20 more damage uh, to your opponent's active. So, you know, with the Strong Energy and Fighting Stadium, uh, suddenly we're doing 80 damage. So we're doing 80 damage going back to the hand. Well, that's that's pretty good, but let's go ahead and take it up another notch. Uh, we've got Muscle Band here. Muscle Band does another... Uh, it's adding another 20 more damage to uh, the damage done to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, you know, with a Muscle Band, a Strong Energy, and Fighting Stadium, uh, you've gone from 40 damage to 100 for a single energy. Uh, and this is something that's level while searchable. It has synergy with Karina. So already you can start to see uh, this is pretty good. You know, it's it's knocking out Pokemon EXs in two hits. Uh, if only I had something to kind of help with that prize exchange so I don't get knocked out easily since my Pokemon have a mere, uh, you know, 70 and 90 HP. Well, that's that's what, exactly what Robo Substitute's for. Um, Robo Substitute's a very interesting card. Um, it's an item card, but when you put it in play, it becomes a 30 HP colorless basic Pokemon. Um, and this is pretty awesome because I can just kind of uh, put me and Shao back in my hand after arrow turn and just kind of promote the Robo Substitute. Um, it can't retreat, but I can discard it at any time, which is you know just as good for the most part. But what makes it really good is it uh, the effect at the end. It says if this card is knocked out, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. 
So when it goes back to you, uh, the active spot and your opponent attacks it and knocks out Robo Substitute, they don't take a prize. And that is the driving factor to make this deck work. Um, it's com you know just to sum it up in a couple words, it's prize denial. You know, me and Shao is doing a, uh, a pretty hefty amount of damage up to 100. It's going into the Robo Substitute, and then your opponent doesn't take prizes throughout the game. So that's how the strategy is working here. Um, but we do have a secondary Pokemon in the deck that can not only function uh, as another kind of wall, if you will, to take attacks, but to also attack itself. Um, that's going to be Halucha, like, as I was showing before. Uh, Halucha only has 70 HP, but it is Karina and level wall searchable. Um, Flying Press is a s really great attack, uh, very efficient for single fighting energy, it's doing 60. And uh, it has to be, uh, your opponent's active has to be a Pokemon EX. So if it's something like, uh, you know, for example, another Halucha, well, Flying Press isn't going to do any damage. But thankfully, this format is just kind of dominated by these heavy HP uh, and really efficient Pokemon EX. So we're really taking advantage of that and just kind of punishing our opponent for playing those Pokemon EXs. Uh, it's also got Fighting Resistance as well as uh, Free Retreat. And then it's got the ability Shining Spirit which says that uh, this Pokemon's attacks are not affected by weakness or resistance. So, unfortunately, you can't hit a Mega Manectric for weakness with it, or like a Manectric or another Lightning type. However, with uh, Shaman EX being so popular, you know, we can really capitalize upon this, uh, this ability here. So, with Flying Press doing 60 with a Muscle Band to make it 80, a Fighting Stadium to make it 100, and Strong Energy to make it 120, um, suddenly you're in range to knock out shamans every turn. You can just kind of Lysander up shamans, knock them out, and yeah, that's that. You can just kind of do that three times to kind of quickly win your game that way. So that's another reason Halucha is so good. It's just a very efficient attacker, uh, only gives up one prize, and then uh, something else, you know, the kind of like the last piece of the puzzle for this deck is going to be Focus Sash. Um, it can only be attached to a... Uh, well, the effect only works for a fighting type Pokemon. Uh, it is a Pokemon tool. And basically it says that if your Pokemon has full HP but it would be knocked out, it's not knocked out, and it only has, uh, it brings it down to 10 HP instead, and then you discard Focus Sash. So that's another reason why the deck works. So Robo Substitute is great, but putting this on like a Halucha or another Mean Chow or something, it's going to make it so that your opponent really can't take any prizes throughout the game. So that's what we're hoping for. Um, and then as far as the other stuff in the deck, we do have two Eco Arm that's just going to let us recycle the Focus Sash since it gets discarded after use, uh, as well as our Muscle Bands. Um, let's see here. We've got a Professor's Letter. This is great because Karina lets you search out an item. So essentially Karina can let you search out not only a Fighting Pokemon, but maybe a Professor's Letter if you need an energy early on. And that is going to give you two Fighting Energies, two basic energy cards. Um, we do play, uh, for our supporters, we play a standard for... Uh, Professor Sycamore, a couple Lysander, our four Verse Seeker. But what's interesting is that we actually play two Tierno on this deck. And uh, you know, for those of you who don't really know who Tierno is or what Tierno is, I definitely don't blame you. It's not a supporter that's played all the time. But it's just a very vanilla supporter. Draw three cards. Um, if you're familiar with the uh, the Empoleon deck that was just popular a couple years ago, you know when when it first came out initially, it had that ability that let you um, you know, draw two extra cards every turn. And then people would kind of uh, use that strategy by putting cards like Charon in there. So that way you could keep drawing cards and drawing cards and basically you end up with like a massive hand. Uh, this is basically the same strategy, you know. Uh, me and Chow is going back to your hand, you're just kind of playing it down and you're just kind of drawing and attacking, drawing and attacking. So, um, yeah, overall, over uh, over time, you're going to have a pretty big hand. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you had a 10, 15, maybe even a 20-card hand. I had a friend who uh, played this deck at a local League Challenge uh, this weekend, and he said that he actually had a 30-card hand with it. So it's kind of ridiculous. But that's why Tierno can be pretty good in this deck, actually. Um, we do play Startly Megaphone, just maybe for the mirror matchup, if we have to verse uh, another Mian Shao deck. Also great for those Pokemon that try to Mega Evolve with those Spirit Links. Uh, we play Sacred Ash just in case our Mian Shals get knocked out or Haluchas get knocked out, so we can kind of recycle those and kind of reset the lock and keep it going. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we play Eco Arm, like I said, uh, very important to kind of recycle those tools like the Focus Ash and things like that in there. So that is the deck, very powerful deck. 
Uh, very unorthodox deck. You know, we're not playing Shaman EXs in here. Our supporter count's just a little strange. Um, but yeah, that's that's the deck. Very strong, very efficient. Uh, Two-shotting most of your Pokemon EXs there. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and play a game of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. And let's just see how it goes. Let's see how uh, competitive this deck's going to be. Okay, guys, looks like we're playing against uh, Sags, it looks like his name is. Uh, we're going to see if we go first here. All right, we're just trying to wait and see if we go first in this matchup. Uh, I'm not sure what we're playing against exactly, but I'm sure we'll find out in just a minute. Uh, and, yeah, it looks like our opponent is probably going to go first. Uh, good move on his part. Uh, look at our opening hand here. Not, not bad at all. Um, you know, in this matchup, you definitely want to start with Halucha just because it is a free retreater. Um, you know, the last thing we want to do is kind of start with that Mianfu, uh, mainly because it just has 60 HP and it can, uh, you know, fall susceptible to, you know, say like a Lugia EX, like an Arrow Ball or something like that on the first turn. So definitely always want to lead with the Halucha. Um, unfortunately, Robo Substitute does not count as a basic Pokemon unless it's in play. So uh, otherwise, that would be an awesome starter as well. But it looks like we might be playing against some sort of uh, Mega Rayquaza variant here. Uh, I see Lightning Energy, which is interesting. It could mean uh, like a Manectric Rayquaza. It could mean a Raichu Rayquaza, kind of speed deck. Uh, yeah, a lot of different uh, ideas there. But I am going to go ahead and level ball. Um, I'll probably end up using a Sycamore this turn. But I need to go ahead and try to you know search through my deck and just kind of thin it down and hopefully draw into things like an Energy um, I chose not to use the other level ball just because I'd rather wait and put the robo down as we just draw into it. Um, you know, I've got a pretty solid board state here, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, next turn I should be able to pull off the arrow turn with Mianfu, or Mianxia, I should say. Um, and I'm actually going to promote the robo and just kind of pass. Um, you know, I could have potentially attacked with Halucha. Uh, Flying Press with the flying stadium and with everything else in play would actually be doing 120 damage uh, since Halucha's ability actually goes through resistance but in this case I uh, you really want to play conservatively with this deck um, you know as you can see I don't really have a supporter right now so I'd rather not you know do a little bit of damage and then uh, just kind of lose the game from Mega Rayquaza just kind of plowing through my Pokemon um, you know keep in mind these attackers are uh, you know, pretty weak. You know, Halucha has 70 HP. Mian Shao has 90 HP. So, pretty much anything can get one shot at here. Alright, we're just kind of waiting on our opponent here. I uh, see he does have Alteria out. Not really going to help him in this matchup, but, um, you know, he was able to get it out pretty quickly. So, he's probably just kind of thinning his hand down, uh, thinning his deck out. And Alteria might even be, you know, pretty useful in this matchup just because it is a non ex attacker and it can hit for a little bit of damage but yeah we do see Pikachu come down and um, that might hurt us in the long run because Pikachu uh, it, it does evolve into that Raichu that has the circle circuit attack uh, which does 20 times the number of bench Pokemon so um, yeah you know that could be um, that could definitely hurt us long run but right now I'm gonna be focusing on uh, using arrow turn every turn in the game here uh, you know, it's such a powerful attack. Uh, right now, it's not doing a whole lot of damage. I believe it's doing 80. So, Strong Energy, Muscle Band, Fighting Stadium. Those are all modifiers adding 20 damage and then factor in that resistance. So, you know, I'm doing 80 for one, going back to the hand. Um, you know, we're hoping that he does not Lysander the next, uh, the Mianfu on the bench. Uh, you know, if he did that then, you know, my deck strategy would be slowed down quite a bit, actually, because um, I would have to spend a turn trying to get the Mianfu out. So if I had a Focus Sash, you know, this turn I would uh, I'd probably put it in the Mianfu just to make it safe. But, yeah, it looks like uh, we we should be safe here. Um, I don't anticipate a Lysander. He's actually opting to hit me for 10 damage, um, oddly enough. Um, I guess he didn't have the, uh, the Mega or something like that. But... This gives me a bit of an opening. I am down one prize, but that's okay because all of my uh, attackers here, they only give up one prize, and Robo actually gives up no prizes, so that is going to be huge. 
Um, I'm actually going to opt to uh, hit with the Halucha this turn. And the reason for that is mainly because it's going to let me take uh, just a cheap two prizes and uh, just get an early lead here. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm not really drawing a lot of cards because I don't really have a, a supporter right now. So I'm hoping that maybe off these two cards I can get a supporter. Um, okay, so I do get another Fighting Energy and then another Robo. So as you can see, the deck is really uh, you know self-reliant. It's very efficient. Um, like I said, I haven't drawn a supporter, but the deck is still continuing to work as it should. And that's uh, that's just kind of a testament to you know just deck consistency. Um, you know the list I'm running right now it's pretty pretty good for the most part. Um, lots of four of cards. Uh, you know just kind of maxing out certain supporters such as Karina and Professor Sycamore, and it's really kind of paying off here. But hopefully we can draw another supporter pretty soon. Um, looks like we do get another strong energy. Alright, and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put down another Robo Substitute, and um, yeah, I'm going to put a Focus Ash on Halucha, uh, just in case he tries to Lysander it up or something, and then I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, using that Arrow Turn into the Robo Substitute. And, you know, right now it's not doing a whole lot of damage, I think it only did 40 damage, which is, you know, kind of mediocre for any kind of attacker, uh, especially when it when my opponent can just mega evolve you know basically I'd have to hit him six times with that attack to knock him out and that's just not very efficient but um, you know we're gonna start to see our opponent just kind of uh, you know his strategy kind of fall apart here here as he has to you know continuously uh, knock out these robo substitutes and deal with focus sash so um, you know this deck is different in the sense that it's extremely slow to play at times um, you know, unlike this kind of Mega Rayquaza deck I'm facing, that's kind of a speed deck. You know, it's designed to kind of, uh, you know, it's it's designed to kind of take two prizes every turn, um, and it can certainly run out of steam if it's already done everything. You know, like in this particular instance, uh, Mega Rayquaza um, definitely powered up, but if you look on the bench, you know, there's three Shaman already out. So not only could those be liabilities, but it could also mean that he's just kind of run out of steam for now. But I do go ahead and promote the Robo Substitute. Um, I'm going to continue to arrow turn. He does get a VS Seeker. Um, he's going for the Lysander. So I think he might be going for the, like, the Mianfu. But he actually goes for the Halucha. So that's, you know, kind of an interesting play there. You know, maybe he was just doing that to deny the prize, uh, you know, the inevitable flying press that might have come next turn. But, you know, honestly, um, you know, we're just going to continue to arrow turn. Um, you know, if our opponent wants to kind of waste his VS Seekers there, that's, you know, that's completely fine with us because that's going to give us more opportunity to bring up the Robo Substitutes and just keep this kind of, uh, this kind of lock, if you will. You know, it's going to get to the point where he's going to have to just attack the Robo Subs every turn. He will run out of uh, Lysanders, he will run out of Verse Seekers. So, we're just going to see what he does this turn. And interesting, he opts to uh, play a Hex Maniac, so that's going to prevent Flying Press from actually knocking him out next turn. Um, you know, with the strong energy and maybe even a Fighting Stadium, normally that would be doing enough damage, but um, with Halucha's ability shut off, suddenly um, resistance is applied, and I, I would actually be short 20 damage. But I'm actually going to play a Tierno. I'm not going to use Sycamore because my hand is huge. I don't want to have to get rid of half the energy in the deck and all these attackers, uh, a couple stage one uh, Mian Shells. But I'm going to continue to arrow turn here. Um, you know, they say slow and steady wins the race, and that's you know exactly how we're going to win this matchup. Um, you know, just kind of looking at it on paper, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, how is this? How do you win this kind of matchup? You know, you have a Mega Rayquaza. Um, you know, great typing. It's got fighting resistance. He's hitting for just a ton of damage. It's a very quick deck, um, but this is really the way to do it. You know, eventually, um, you know, eventually this deck is probably going to run out of steam here. So that's what I'm really uh, counting on right here. And he, you know, we saw another Lysander. So my opponent um, definitely being aggressive. He's taken three prizes already. He's halfway there to winning. Um, but this turn, you know, we should be able to pull off a knockout because. Uh, it looks like he has 160 damage on that Mega Rayquaza. 
so that means we need to do at least 60 damage to actually um, actually take uh, the two prizes this turn. So I'm just kind of contemplating uh, whether or not I should attack with Halucha or just Arrow Turn or something. But uh, you know, given the fact that Halucha can just kind of knock out this uh, Mega Rayquaza, um, I definitely think it's uh, too too good to pass up. I would say. So I go ahead and take two more prizes. I get a Sycamore, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, just in case I do need to get a certain card off of, uh, you know, using a supporter. But honestly, right now I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, I've got a couple of Mian Fu out, so you know I know the lock is going to be there. Um, he opts to Quick Attack, which is pretty interesting. Um, he knows that Focus Sash is in play, so it's kind of a waste to power up Rayquaza. But he is able to put 60 on Halucha, so Focus Sash is no longer going to work. Um, and Another thing is that Halucha actually can't attack Pikachu for damage because uh, its Fly and Press attack only works against Pokemon EX. So that is going to force me to have to Arrow Turn, but that is fine. I can always just kind of promote the Robo or something like that. So I am going to go ahead and Arrow Turn. I go down to a single prize left. Um, I would really love to draw into like a VS Seeker just to kind of finish the game that way. Um, you know, if I can get a Halucha with like a Muscle Band, a Strong Energy, and a Fighting Stadium, you know, I can just Lysander Shaman for the knockout. But it looks like, uh, you know, our opponent's going to put a little more of a fight here. He's going to start attacking with that Rayquaza. And, you know, we may see the Mega come out really soon. Um, he does not have a Spirit Link on it, but he could just kind of evolve it to end his turn. We'll just have to see what happens here. I'm not sure how many Spirit Links he actually has left. Um, but I am just kind of checking my Alucha. It looks like it does have a Focus Sash, so it may take us a couple turns to actually knock out Rayquaza. But, um, yeah, you know, I think we should be able to pull something off here. Uh, just looking at the prize exchange here, you know, our opponent is going to have to knock out three of our Pokemon, four counting the Robo Substitute. He actually opts to use a VS Seeker instead of drawing more cards, and he's going to go down to two prizes. He's going to do ten damage to knock my Halucha out. So it's hard to say whether or not that was the best play for my opponent here, but it is going to let me kind of capitalize upon this and just start being really aggressive here. Um, you know, I've got two options. I could go for a flying press, which right now that would be doing a lot of damage, actually. That would be doing, uh, I believe, 100 damage. So basically two-shotting Rayquaza, kind of forcing him to use the, uh, the Mega. Or I could opt for the, uh, the arrow turn, go into the robo sub for a more con conservative play so that way it's going to really force that lysander for my opponent and just kind of looking at his discard there he's used two lysander and three vs seeker so he's got one more vs seeker left but at that point he is going to be kind of locked for a couple turns because he'll have to deal with focus sash and robo sub so i i believe i'm actually going to opt for the arrow turn i'm just going to play really conservatively um, I'm not in any rush to kind of win here just because I think I do have the uh, the board advantage. So I'm just going to retreat out since Alucha has free retreat. And I will arrow turn for 80 and that will uh, let me promote the robo substitute. And then, you know, something else to note is that Halucha can just kind of finish it off regardless next turn with that fly and press attack. But uh, we do see our opponent mega evolve here. So that is going to be... Um, a good move on my opponent's part because that's going to prevent me from actually knocking him out next turn. Uh, or this turn, I should say. Um, but I need to continue to put damage on this Rayquaza. Put as much pressure as possible. Um, you know, there's a really great chance that by next turn we could actually win. So I'm going to promote Halucha. It has Focus Sash on it, so keep in mind that even if they do attack me, I'm going to survive the hit. I'm going to put down another Mianfu. Uh, just kind of thinning my hand out here, and I'm going to go ahead and fly and press for 100. So it, he's got 180 damage on him left. Um, he's going to get knocked out next turn regardless, and we see our opponent realize that and concede the game. So, uh, yeah, you know, initially this matchup might seem really bad on paper. You know, it's got fighting resistance. Mega Rayquaza is so much faster. They play three to four Shaman in this deck, just drawing through their deck super quickly. Um, and, I mean, if you look at the... Just the back, the background there. It looks like my opponent was down to ten cards in his deck, and I was down to uh, like twenty-one cards. So, um, you know, my opponent had less than half of my deck remaining. So it's just, uh, you know, Rayquaza is such a really fast deck. But uh, you know, we were able to actually hold our own, 
and consistently keep up with that prize exchange there. And it got to the point where our opponent just kind of ran out of resources and they weren't going to be able to keep up with uh, those focus sashes and the robo substitute. So overall, you know, this deck is really good. You know, definitely a competitive deck. Um, you know, it's it's able to kind of abuse a lot of uh, resources that we have right now in the card game in the standard XY on format. You know, it has uh, the Karina engine. Uh, you know, a lot of decks don't have Inner Chorus anymore. Uh, well, all I should say with X, Y on. But this deck can actually take advantage of the Karina engine. It can take advantage of Fighting Stadium, Strong Energy, Level Ball. So definitely is a lot going for it. And in a, de in a format that is just kind of uh, dominated by these heavy uh, hitting high HP Pokemon EX, uh, this is a deck to, to look out for. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, please subscribe, like us on Facebook, and yeah, you know, my, um, the deck is certainly good, and if you guys want to see any more decks, uh, just feel free to comment, and I'll definitely, uh, take a look at it and, uh, push out some more deck profile videos, but I am Zach with Top Deck Nation, and I will catch you guys in the next one.